Hey everyone. Uh, so this is my unboxing of the Softrock RX TX kit. Um, just received this. I've opened it already, but uh, everything's in there. Um, so um, yeah, just got it. Um, not too sure what I'm going to get to actually building it. I'm pretty busy, but I've got it. Um, again, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, the IEEE department or uh, club organization at my college here graciously funded it for me so I'm able to play around with this and um, I'll post the uh, links to um, where you can buy the soft rock and more information to find more information about it basically it's a little SDR for the hand bands you can choose um, there's a few different band configuration options you can choose from um, and yeah so we'll go ahead and open it up I got um, a kit you can get it pre-built Make sure my everything's blocked out there, but um, I'll make email addresses. That's right. So yeah, um, uh, then focus. So I got the enclosure also and the kit, 125 bucks shipped to me. Um, you can get it pre pre built. Costs a little more. I think it's like 20 bucks more. Can't remember for sure though. Um, yeah. So basically, get that little shipping level, and all your parts are organized here. Now, as you can see, um. There's the site, actually, <laughs> for more information. Um, and all the build instructions are online. There's very, very good documentation of the build process for this. There's a ton of information online. Um, it you know, tells you how to test it as you go and everything. Um, you can build this with just a multimeter, actually. At least the only um, test equipment, that is. Of course, you need a soldering iron and everything. And I don't know if you saw there, but there are some surface mount components. And through hole, of course. Um, on both sides of the board. So, um, yeah, looks like it's going to be a pretty, pretty good little thing here. Um, trying to see. Alright, so I haven't actually taken this part out yet. Ah, uh, yes, there's more in there. Good. I was wondering where I, that looked a little light on the parts. Okay, so, um, well, I'll cover that side. Hardware. Heat sink, more hardware, it looks like. Connectors, that's what I was wondering where they were. So it comes with all the connectors you need. Um, you hook up to your sound card on your computer. Actually, if you want to do voice modes, you'll need two sound cards. Again, all that information's online. The wire for running the toroids and the cores, I'm sure. Yep. Um, here's the enclosure itself. Now, of course, like I, like I said, the enclosure sold separately. Don't really need it, I don't think. But you know, I figured might as well. You gotta put it in something so it's usable. I wanna be able to take this out and field and whatever. So it's like a two-piece. I say a USB B hook up the computer, hook up a paddle there, line in, line out, or line in, line out. Uh, 50 ohm antenna, use a BNC connector, 12 volt power, standard deal. Pretty basic on the, or the top piece, I should say. Pretty basic on the enclosure. Something like, something like that. So, um, it's not too big. Um, actually, if you want the actual dimensions there, I got a ruler here somewhere. Alright. So, here you go. That's, um, well, it's like six inches long there by. Something like one of these. Something like three inches that way. I would imagine probably like an inch tall or so. Yeah, so pretty small little guy. Um, it's one watt. Um, yeah, and I'm, I kind of want it so I can play around with maybe doing some portable with it. I don't know. Grab my laptop and this, and I don't know. But yeah, I want to play with an SDR. This is a pretty inexpensive way to get started. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to, yeah, I'm thinking I might end up building this my next break, which, um, when my school works is going to be towards the end of April. I have a week off, so I'll probably just kind of devote most of that time to getting this thing up and going. 
and um, definitely I'll have videos of this thing working. Um, also, like I said before, I don't know if I'm going to do any build type videos because there's good documentation online already and it's going to take a while to build. It's not a quick running run uh, run through the build. But I'm sure I'll have some videos of once it's done of me operating with it. So I just thought I'd do a quick little video on the kit itself. I thought we get that in there the same way. Um, yeah, so that's it. So, Alright guys, see you later.